What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and Auto Rog 1234 asked me if I could make a video on how to don your scuba gear from a standing position or an over the head position. Well, I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm actually gonna take you to the pool with one of our students tonight and I personally am gonna show you how to don your equipment in three different methods. Of course, it's gonna be a buddy doning position where the buddy actually holds your gear and you put it on. I'm also gonna show you from a seated position if you're by yourself, how you can don your gear and then of course, I will show you the overhead doning method as well. Now, I do need to state that doing it over your head can be dangerous. If you don't use proper lifting techniques, you can hurt yourself while doing this. And though it's the probably the least common method of doning your gear, it can be done safely with the proper lifting techniques. So let's head over to the pool and I'll show you all three methods. Now in this first clip, this is simply the buddy doning technique. In short, your buddy's going to lift up your equipment and hold it in place until you've got it on your shoulders and got it completely adjusted. Now I am only using a small little 63 cubic foot cylinder, so it's very easy for me to balance the cylinder on my shoulders while I adjust my BCD. If I was using a much heavier cylinder, then of course I would want my buddy to hold it the entire length of the time that I'm getting it adjusted. Now I'm actually going to repeat this video once again for you, and I'm going to slow it down because there's a couple things we need to discuss. First of all, notice that he is lifting with his legs and not with his back. That's going to be key to his safety and to keep himself from being injured while lifting up the system for me. The next thing that you'll notice is watch my knees. Every now and then you'll see that I kind of squat down into a squatted or a seated position to readjust the system on my back. Now I do this versus trying to lean forward and possibly causing a back injury of myself simply because I do have a heavy cylinder on my back. If I need to squat down, I use my legs versus using my back. So in this next clip, I'm just simply going to do a seated doning technique. And this is very common if you're on a dive boat because you can actually sit down on the bench, put your equipment on. Of course, you can either stand up and adjust it or you can adjust it and stand up afterwards. Now I'm choosing to go ahead and stand up here simply because I am using such a small cylinder. It's very easy for me to go ahead and adjust my equipment after I stand up as well. But guys, this is the seated doning position. Now in this last technique, this is the overhead doning technique. This is the one that Auto Rog 1234 asked about. And essentially what I'm going to do is actually lift the system up and slightly let it slide down my back into the correct position. Now there are several things that we need to discuss in this because if this position or if this technique is not done correctly, you can injure yourself. It's very important that you use proper lifting techniques and that you make sure you have a good secure hold on that cylinder before you lower it down onto your back. Now I'm going to slow this video down for you and we're going to repeat it one more time and I'll walk you through the process. As I approach my gear I'm going to go ahead and kind of butterfly open so where I can get my entire arm down in behind the shoulder straps and on the back side of the cylinder and I'll actually repeat it with my left arm there as well and I want to make sure I get a good firm grip on the cylinder and you'll notice that I'm going ahead and squatting down and what I'm actually going to do is begin to lift the cylinder with my arms and then I want to stand up using my legs and not my back. As I lay it over the top of my head, I'm very gently just going to let, allow it to slide down onto my shoulders and not let it actually jolt my spine. Now, once I've got it on there, of course, I can go ahead and adjust it. But once again, it's very important that you use that proper lifting technique and you lower the system onto your back versus just dropping it onto your back. Now, if you're using a much heavier cylinder than what I am, I would probably disencourage this method. However, it can be done safely as long as you use proper lifting techniques and you have a good, firm, secure grip of that cylinder before you try to lower it onto your back. So there you go guys, that's the three most common ways to dome your equipment. Of course we had the buddy position or the buddy dome, we also had the seated doming position, and then of course we had the overhead doming position. In the Auto Rock 1234, I hope this was the type of video that you were after. I hope this kind of shows you how to do it. Just remember that anytime that you're going to be doing it by yourself in an over the head doming position, please make sure that you have the proper lifting techniques. You always want to lift with your legs, never with your back, and do it slowly. You could probably go as far as even once you've put it on, then add your weights versus trying to put it on with your weights 
in your BC system. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Autorog1234, I need to apologize. on It did take me a while to make this video for you, uh, but hopefully it's exactly what you were needing to see. Uh, if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. And if you guys got any recommendations on a video that you'd like to see, put it also down in the comment section below and we'll try to make a video as quickly as we can on it. But guys, once again, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.